Okay, so here we have an Excel file and it has a network in the form of a full matrix. There's a second tab which has attributes. So we're going to put these into UCINet and then we're going to run those relational cross tabs. So I go to network here, I highlight everything, I copy it to the clipboard, I go to UCINet, I open one of the data editors. I drop it in here, I tell it that this is a matrix, <coughs> and I uh, save this. I will call this my network, and uh, now I will go back to Excel. I will find my attributes, copy them. clear away the data that's in the spreadsheet, paste in, save this as my attributes, close this, and now I go to tools, <clears throat> testing hypotheses, mixed dyad, categorical, relational contingency table analysis, the input data set is my network. The attribute data set is my attributes column one, uh, which happens to be gender. Uh, note that if my attributes had spaces in it, I would want to enclose the whole thing in quotes, because otherwise it would get confused. And then I run it, and it produces a little table, expected values, and so on. Close this. I can also go to tools, testing hypotheses, mixed categorical density models. I put in my network. I put in my attributes column one, which is gender, and we were interested in variable homophily. I run it. It shows me the density table and it gives me a regression that says that overall variable homophily um, does seem to predict and uh, what variable homophily really means is that there are more ties within group than between group but that different groups have variable degrees of homophily. So group one here uh, has a slightly stronger tendency to be homophilous than group two. And that's all there is.